<laughs> All right, so here we are, a little slice of Forêt de Pempo, Brosolion, King Arthur's Forest. Which is lovely, very moss strewn and lustrous, but I can't say it's so much more lustrous than Virginia as to warrant bring everybody out here for it alone. Okay, we have to pass this one on by. Pretty though. Yeah. And my heart says yes, yes, yes. Get you just out here. Despite my earlier enthusiasm, I discovered these sites all seem to be covered with this sharp, sharp, low scrub. And it's not just in patches, it's more or less strewn throughout. It's the kind of thing that I just couldn't roll myself over again and again. La petite materie. It's actually the only field that's really practical for our work. It's been shorn by sheep, though there are here and there patches of this thorny scrub grass. The petite materie is challenging because it is very close to the road and it has a lot of features um, that would be recognized as modern. Le Petit. Here alone. Because of the brush, perhaps. There are no prickly thorns. We could do it here. It has a nice, woe be gone, forgotten feel. Feel. Lots of. Headstones cooking out. Draw back. There's the road. It's a table de marchand. It's a cairn. And look, Maria. Sort of a stone cave. Water free building. Quite stunning. Here we are at Abaye Bopor. Right on the edge of the ocean. Open air room here. Want 
empty of my feet from side to side. A lot of length. And a nice soft ground. An enclosed area just off the church. Very narrow, but might be able to do some of our work here. If we got rained out. This is the chapter house. Beautiful arches and columns. Only one entrance, exit. Lovely windows. Here's the Abbey Garden. There'll be an exhibition here in the summer. Beautiful grounds. Here is the concert hall. With those elegant arches. We couldn't have the space until Wednesday at the earliest. Despite as many charms, the concrete floor makes it challenging. But it doesn't get much more elegant. La Valle Royale de Mancel. Lovely galleries, arches, enclosed stone floors. <sighs> Cellar. Low ceilings. I can touch it without jumping at the edges. Alex could probably touch it without jumping in the middle. Low ceilings, but beautiful arches. Very little natural light, but certainly enough glimmer off of the interior lights to make it beautiful. Hard tile floor, that's the primary obstacle at this point. Hard floor to land on. There's 13 of my big feet from pillar to pillar on the narrow side. Certainly enough length to go by. Beautiful crannies. Stairs to a door over here. An extra hallway back here. Here is the little annex. 
Again, the same arches, same arches, fairly low in spots, but not as low as in the main cellar. We'll stay to a door right here. We could make go of this right here, three exits, doorway, hallway, doorway. If we took out the tables, you have these two columns to deal with. And of course the stone, hard stone floors. 13 of my big feet from wall to pillar at its widest angle. Still, we could certainly make a go here. The ceilings are higher here, which is nice. I'm just exploring the garden walk for the sake of Swan Lake. Nice area, lots of open space. No cars in view, which is kind of a rare treat. Soft ground. There's a kind of idyllic feel about it. There is this side is a bridge, a nice little stone bridge. This side, There's some water here and here, leading to another little bridge connecting. And a weeping willow, which, if in bloom, might be heavenly. A fire pit, huh? Yeah. Don't know that. This is not a bad little area to have a dance by the weeds. It has a lakeside-ish feel to it. It was nice. Let's see what else. Place to have chicks, goslings, as it were. This is the background. Here's the wall. Just gonna take that all the way around. And we start here and zoom to this bank for our first duet. There's actually quite a nice little area up here. There's our little horseshoe lake. More weeping willows, minor trees. And quite a generous grassy knoll here. We've got some houses to keep in the background, but Not a bad perch for another of our duets. Here's our horseshoe 
pond. From the middle bank. These beautiful trees. Could come here in the morning. It's raining work inside, and if it's not, shoot outside. There's another bridge. There's a first little bridge right here. There's the abbey in the back. Hut or whatever. It is not bad. I keep thinking that these trees with their little boughs are going to be rather striking when in leaf. So here's my problem. We've got these lovely arches. We've got some light. It's definitely got an interior feel, which goes with Coppelia. But we do spend a lot of time on the ground in Coppelia, and the work is fairly tender. In addition to it being a little dark, I feel like it would be not exactly a welcoming place to lay someone on the ground. Thinking perhaps of something down like the leaves in Peter Bausch's Barbe Blue. Although I have to say that the checkers here are cozier. And uh, harsh white stones. <laughs> <laughs>